sorry, I'm, I'm not coughing because I'm sick. I'm smoking it. <laughs> it's all good, bro. It's all good. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I'm, every time I cough from smoking too much, I'm like, do I have it? Or Yeah, I know. Hey, you get all paranoid, right? Like, everything's a symptom, right? <laughs> yeah. So we're here with uh, Bartone, fucking legendary battle rapper, bro. How, when, how long ago was your first battle rap? Like, 15 years or, like, 20 years now? It was a while ago, oh, right? Oh, fuck, man. Probably 12 years ago. Back King of the Dot. Mm-hmm. Oh, 12? I, for some reason, I thought it was, like, longer than that. I don't know. <laughs> no, nah, uh, the first event was in uh, 2008. Oh, crazy. That's awesome. Yeah, man. yeah. So roughly 12 years, you know? Mm-hmm. That's cr- It's crazy how time flies, eh? Oh, fuck yeah, man. I wouldn't expect it went this fast, I'll tell you. Mm-hmm. Man, you doing any of the uh, the online battle raps at all? Honestly, I've been wanting to because it's pretty much like the only thing that's really popping right now. Like, there's mm-hmm. no crowds or nothing, right? So... Yeah, man, I think I might get into it. I haven't even watched any of them yet, man. I don't know. Have you? Are they any good? No, I haven't even watched them. Like, no. the, the thing they've been doing, I think, that. the thing they've been doing, I think, is, like, they record a video, and then they, like, send it in or whatever, right? Which I think right, is kind of yeah. whack, because then, like, you can't that choke or anything, right? You could retake it, like, a thousand times. I think if they did it like this, that'd be more interesting, right? Yeah, for sure, definitely. Yeah, so basically it's not live is what you're saying. It's like pre-recorded. Yeah, as far as I know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. well, that that could be all right. But yeah, it's more exciting if it's live for sure, right? Mm-hmm. I 100% agree. Fuck, I wonder, I wonder when battling is going to get started again, man. Yeah, dude, like, fuck, I haven't battled in forever, but I have a crazy, like, verse ready. For the next, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. I think I got verses ready for like the whole planet, man. I've been writing so much generic bars, just ready to go, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got coronavirus bars? Oh man, half of them are coronavirus bars, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the other half, fucking Tiger King. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, Tiger King is fucking crazy. I mean, there's nothing but... else going on, right? So we might as well wrap about the current events, man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> man, you're pacing back and forth like crazy, bro. <laughs> yeah, man, because honestly, I, I work sitting down all day, man. So I, I'm like fiending to just walk around, man, because I'm like mm-hmm. sitting down all day on the phone at my at my job. I work from home, right? Right. So like when I'm sitting down for like eight hours, man, fucking walking feels like I'm free, you know? Mm-hmm. And I ain't going for a walk out there, man. I'm walking on my balcony. Oh, yeah, we're nice, nice. <laughs> yeah. What do you think about all these people that think it's like a fucking conspiracy and shit? Um, I think it's just, you know, they haven't been personally exposed to it. It's not really a part of their life, right? Mm-hmm. So they only know everything through the media, right? So they think, well, it's just the media talking about it. They don't see any evidence of it, right? Mm-hmm. But what they don't understand is that there are people like me who has seen direct evidence of it. My daughter had it. Uh, my mom's friend died in a nursing home here in town. Holy shit, A friend bro. that she's had for 12 years. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, man, like, it's been in my life. Like, I literally had to take my daughter to the hospital because she had it, right? And she's so, good I now, mean, though, right? Your daughter? She's good now, exactly, awesome. right? So, it's like, it's so weird. It's like, yeah, if it's just news stories to you, then I understand why you might be skeptical. But for other people, I mean, it's a reality. It's sort of like... Oh, I've never met anyone from Iceland. So Iceland is a hoax, right? I've never met anyone <laughs> from Iceland. It's all the media conspiracy. It's like, nah, just because you don't know anyone from Iceland doesn't mean Iceland doesn't exist. And just because you don't know anyone with coronavirus doesn't mean it's not a real fucking thing. Right, so exactly. I, I think that it's not that. I just think they're not thinking properly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I agree, man. I agree 100%. Um, I asked this to everyone, so I got to ask you, what are your thoughts on Epstein, bro? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, don't kill me. <laughs> Just like Epstein. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah man. Uh, well, he can hang, you know? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <That's fire>. uh, <laughs> I don't know how he swings, probably like back and forth in the cell. Um, <laughs> um, I don't know. I, honestly, I think uh, I think Epstein, well, I don't know, man. It's, it's hard to tell because there's, there's, there's fishy things. 
Like the camera's been missing. Mm-hmm. Like that's pretty fishy to me. I mean, yeah, how convenient hell. is that? Yeah. Um, but on the other hand, you know, a little while before that happened, it was a failed suicide attempt by Epstein by hanging, mm-hmm. which he really did try to kill himself. But he failed. So they, you know, they put him in a different section. So there's also a theory that he made it happen. So he paid the guards to do it so he can kill himself and actually get away with it because he wanted to do it this, the first time, but he failed. And they put him into a more deeper security spot. He, he might have used his money so he could finish the job and actually kill himself because he didn't want to get killed by whoever was going to kill him after that. I mean, I know I'd want to die in my own way if I knew people were coming after me, right? So I don't right. know. That, That's that a good sense. point. I never thought about yes. that, actually. That's that's actually a really good yeah. point. Maybe he just somehow... Maybe he used his money to get the security guards to turn the other cheek so we could finish the job that he wasn't able to do. Because if you do the research, he, he tried to kill himself by hanging like mm-hmm. a little while before he actually was able to do it, right? So so there, there, there are there's different theories. It's also possible he was killed, right? I don't know. So who knows, man? Yeah. True, true. Could be any of that. You just don't have enough information. I mean, all we can do is speculate based on the limited information we have, but we're never really good at know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's my man, take on it. Man, that was a great take. That was actually fucking awesome. Most people are just like, yeah, I don't think he killed himself. And then we just end it on that. And we move on to something <laughs> else. <laughs> man, I, I'm going to elaborate, man. I'm going to walk back and forth and talk a lot. You know, I just want to do, you know, move around. <laughs> Sounds good, man. Sounds good. Even at bars, I was like, God damn, <laughs> he can hang out. Like, man. <laughs> Fuck, that's funny shit, bro. Man, uh, well, what are your thoughts on aliens? Let's hear, let's hear that. <laughs> aliens, huh? Fuck, man. Yeah, the Pentagon released those uh those videos huh mm-hmm. well those videos existed before but but uh we didn't know whether they were real or not right but the pentagon basically confirmed that the videos from eight years ago are actually real so those videos aren't new videos they've existed on youtube but no oh, one knew really whether they were, yeah but no one knew huh. whether they were real or not but the pentagon just came out and said yeah they're real and then released them again but they're not new videos they've been on the net for a while but no one just knew whether it was authentic or not. So why is the Pentagon even doing that? It seems like a, an odd thing for them to do. It is. It's, it's very bizarre. I mean, they release a lot of declassified information to the public, which is weird. Like Operation Northwoods and stuff, where they planned a false flag attack. I mean, that wasn't covered up. They literally released it and declassified it, right? Mm-hmm. So I don't know why they do that, but apparently every now and then they actually do tell a shit for some reason. Maybe <laughs> it's to, you know? Maybe it's to condition us for, uh, you know, big things to come. I don't know. I have no right. idea. But it's weird. I mean, they declassify things on their own. Like, it's not things that get leaked, which is kind of bizarre. And I don't know why this thing happens, but it happens a lot, man. They declassify a lot of fucked up shit that people, conspiracy theorists use. But I'm like, bro, if you're using it for a conspiracy theory, and they released it. And clearly, it's, they're not trying to hide nothing from you. They released yeah. it. They declassified it. So there's not no big conspiracy, bro. They released it. Like, yeah, yeah, like, exactly. You know? yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I don't know, but I don't know, but it's weird. They release shit on their own. I don't know why. Why don't they, why they don't just keep it a secret? Right? Mm-hmm. Who knows? So wait, so like, yeah. do you think that that it was an act, it was an alien spaceship, or what do you think it is even? Because like from the video, you, it's just like you can't even tell like what the fuck it is. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's like, it's weird because there's a weird phenomenon with like orbs and shit mm-hmm. and like weird things. So maybe it's more complicated than aliens, man. Maybe they're not little green men. Maybe they're like interdimensional shapeshifters or stuff. Like, who knows? Like, right, right. Damn. Like, I don't know. I mean, who knows, right? Or that that's a kind of a wild, implausible theory. Mm-hmm. Or there's some human with technology that we didn't know about or something. That's kind of impossible too. Maybe it's a secret government thing i don't know but it seems weird that like if there's these crazy aliens why aren't they doing nothing like they're just watching us like yeah yeah you know, come down and say what up bro come down and say what up Smoke the food, you know? <laughs> like, <laughs> what are they doing so just chilling deep. and snatching people and then like snatching people in fucking southern states when they're mad dumb like obviously they're just making it up like how come they don't snatch anyone like in other areas like it's just mm-hmm. it's weird like you never hear about anyone getting abducted from aliens here but in, like the dirty, dirty south of the states, 
Apparently, it happens all the time. But what's so special about the Dirty South? This thing yeah. Is <laughs> America number one with everything. Everything big happens in America. Like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you might be onto something with the, the technology shit. Because technology just keeps getting no crazier idea. and crazier, right? I'm just hella speculating, man. Because mm-hmm. we don't know. Like, could be aliens. Could be interdimensional fucking beings. Could be humans with technology. Who fuck knows, man? true man technology is getting crazy i think in like 20 years or something like it's just gonna be like we're like so crazy it's gonna be like i don't even know i can't even want to talk about 5g you want to talk about yeah let's talk about it (laughs) (laughs) all right so there is a big thing about 5g Mm -hmm. but it's not that it's dangerous okay it's not dangerous it's non-ionizing radiation it's not gonna hurt you um like there's a lot of radiation coming out of 4G towers, and we're all here. We're not burning up to a crisp. So, and it's like th- the jump isn't that crazy as far as radiation or high frequency is concerned. So, mm-hmm. I don't think it's dangerous, right? But the big thing about 5G is going to allow for fucking long distance surgery, man. Long distance surgery. Right now, we can't do it because even a little lag between the surgeon's arm. And the robot in a different country, even a little bit of lag will botch the surgery, right? Mm-hmm. But with 5G, it's 100 times faster. So when the uh, robot, when, you know, when, the, uh, when the doctor's arm moves, the robot will move instantly. So now they can, with 5G, they'll be able to do long-term, sur- long-distance surgery, right? So, Damn, crazy. that's and sick, we'll dude. All- that's actually so cool if that becomes a thing. And with 5G, they're going to be able to build. This is not conspiracy stuff either. You you could look it up on like Time Magazine. Like they listed all the crazy shit 5G is going to do, right? Like it's not like I think it's Time. I don't know, but yeah, if you look it up, it's not like conspiracy shit. And they're going to build artificial intelligence grids. So now, car deaths and car injuries will be reduced to zero because no one will drive their own car. Right now, you can't do it with 4G technology because mm-hmm. if there's even a little bit of lag between your AI and your car and like a car. You can cause a crash, right? Even if there's a little bit of a lag, mm-hmm. but 5G is 100 times faster. So we'll be able to not, be, it'll be perfectly coordinated because it's so fast and quick once it bounces off the satellite. So here's the big thing with 5G. China's winning the race right now. And the U.S. Attorney General said, whoever gains control of 5G will basically control the world. So mm-hmm. basically China's rolling out 5G like crazy. So there is a big deal about 5G, but it's not that it's dangerous. It's that it's going to take humans to the next step. And whoever gets there first is going to be the leader of the new world. That's basically what it is. Mm -hmm. Do we really want China China to be the leader of the new world? Hell no. That's what I'm saying. Like, I would much rather the states, like, as corrupt as the states are, like, it's lesser two evil things by far. Like, I'd much rather the states stay in power. Like, you can... You can only imagine what China would do. Like, holy fuck, they're crazy, man. Like, their human rights violations and everything is absolutely nuts, man. Yeah, the one thing I don't like is, like, they have just cameras everywhere, right? So it's, like, even if you yeah, do something like that's, like, not that big of a deal, like jaywalking or something, you could but you could get a fucking ticket for that. No cars around just because, like, there's a thousand cameras watching you at all times, right? Yeah, that that's true, man, 100%. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Fuck, man. This is good so far. I like it. You got uh, any pl- any plugs you want to make? Like, uh, where people can find Bartone? Uh, yeah, man. You can find me at the crib doing absolutely nothing, bro. Fucking, you know, I'll be here all day. Literally, all fucking day, you know? <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right, I'll plug for you. If you guys all find his rap battles, just type in Bartone Burst and it'll all come up. <laughs> yeah, it'll all come up. All right, man. I'm going to get some food, man. All right? All right. Sick, bro. Thanks for doing this. Appreciate it. Oh, no, no worries at all, man. Actually, we should do like a series, man. We should do it like uh, every now and then, you know? Yeah, fuck yeah. I'm down, bro. That'd be awesome. Sure. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, you're the man. Peace, bro. Yeah, have a good one, eh? You too. Easy. Peace.